Galatians chapter 6. My English is very bad. Uh, okay. Let's go. Bethlehem, if a man be overtaken in a fault, yeah, which are spiritual, restore such an on in the spirit of meekness, considering himself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear yet on another's burned burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall be his own burden. Let him that his stall in the world communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be here in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint. Not as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Yet see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand, as many desire to make a fire show in the flesh. They constrain you to be circumcised unless they should suffer persecution, persecution for the cross of Christ. For neither they themselves who are circumcised and keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. But God forbid that I should glory saving the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. At home, the world is crucified unto me, and I am unto the world. For in Christ, neither circumcision availed anything, not in uncircumcision, but a new creator. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy. And upon the Israel of God. For henceforth let no man trouble me, for I am bearing in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Better him the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, Spirit. Amen. See you later. God bless you. Bye.